All about Lil G. Let's learn physics. If you use a balance to find the mass of a bunch of different objects, and then a scale to find their weights, you can graph the weight versus the mass. Here at the surface of Earth, the slope of that graph will be g. In this case, the g is just a proportionality constant between the weight and the mass, and it is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. We call g the gravitational field strength. Lol g is not considered a physical constant because it changes depending on where you go. The gravitational field exists, and forces are applied to objects with mass in that field. It is because of that field force that objects accelerate when they're dropped or thrown. And we call this g the acceleration of gravity. The value again is 9.8 units or meters per second every second. Again, I want to reemphasize that g changes. Don't think of it as a constant. It is dependent upon the position where you are. It's not dependent upon the object. Big G, however, that is the universal gravitational constant. Albert Einstein came along around 1915 and said that rather than or, it's either gravitational acceleration or the gravitational field strength, it is actually both. He determined that since gravitational field and gravitational acceleration are indistinguishable, they therefore must be treated as the same. And space is curved. So lil g is the gravitational field strength, and it has a value of 9.8 newtons per kilogram for w equals mg. So I will switch units in class depending on the situation. 10 newtons per kilogram when I'm dealing with the weight of an object, the gravitational force. And lil g is the acceleration of gravity with a value of 9.8 meters per second every second here. And again, in class, when dealing with acceleration, free fall, projectiles, things like that, I will use meters per second every second, and again, round that 9.8 number off to 10. Remember that everywhere you go in the universe, little g is going to be different. The gravitational field strength, the acceleration of gravity, they're going to be different. It's not a physical constant. And it's dependent upon the position in the gravitational field. It's not about the object. It's not about the tennis ball. It's all about the location.